Once processing is finished, you can review information related to identification and quantification of the data in the featured tree and the grid views. Starting with the tree view, which shows the data organized into an expandable tree in the left panel and corresponding plots, reports, and summaries in the right panels. The default hierarchy of the tree is organized by run, protein group, elution group, precursor, and fragment ions. The tree structure can be changed by clicking the group icon on the experiment tab and selecting a different option. Other common actions are accessible through these intuitive icons, including save, save as, refresh post analysis, add or remove runs, and settings. The settings option allows you to review and change analysis settings shown in black without having to run the analysis again. You can simply update any setting of your choice and click Confirm in the right-down corner. The full list of experiment tab options is accessed by clicking the More icon. At the bottom of the tree view, various practical features can be applied to help navigate thousands of precursors easily. By default, runs are filtered by identification, meaning only those precursors and proteins that have passed all identification cutoffs specified in the settings are shown. Other filters related to assay, identification, quantification, and peak features are available. For example, you can filter for precursor carrying specific modifications. You can select filter to look only at protein groups, which are candidates of differential abundance. Or you can select filter based on whether a precursor or peptide was used for quantification. To enable a filter, select it and set the filter criteria. All active filters can be removed by clicking at the bottom. Moving on to the right panels of the tree view. This view is divided into upper and lower panels to display two different plots at the same time or an enlarged view of a single plot. Floating plotting windows enable visualization of more than two plots simultaneously. The plots available change based on the selected element in the data tree. Detailed descriptions of the plots available at each level are included in the user manual. Starting on the run level, information about the calibration status, tick, and DIA method can be viewed. The analysis summary gives information on the number of precursors, peptides, and proteins identified in each run. The retention time calibration chart shows the nonlinear transformation from library IRT values to actual predicted retention times. The XIC extraction width plot gives insight into gradient stability and the overall accuracy of library IRT values. For experiments that utilize ion mobility as another dimension of ion separation, such as DIA passive, the ion mobility calibration plot shows the empirical ion mobility as a function of the values in the library, and the ion mobility extraction width plot displays the difference between predicted and measured values along with the applied extraction window. The analysis log contains detailed information about the processes in SpectraNaut and can be consulted to view any errors that occur during the search. The DIA acquisition method overview and ion mobility overview can serve as convenient tools to inspect the instrument method used and to develop or optimize new methods. Mass error histograms at the MS1 and MS2 levels can be used to monitor data quality and mass spectrometer behavior. Moving on to the protein group level, different visualizations are available in the run specific and across run tabs. MS2 XICs for each precursor assigned to the selected protein group can be displayed using the All Precursors plot. A run specific map of protein coverage can be viewed showing the location of identified peptides within the protein sequence, as well as localized modifications. Finally, on the precursor and fragment levels, various XAC chromatograms and cross trans profile visualizations are available. Selecting a precursor display the MS2 XAC chart with extracted ion current chromatograms for all fragments present in the library. The predicted retention time is identified with a black dotted line and the area highlighted in green marks the elution group integration boundary. 
although not recommended or necessary, you can manually refine integration boundaries or select a different peak in the plot. Additionally, interferences can be manually defined by right-clicking on the fragment ion in the tree view and unchecking the used for quantification option. Right-clicking on the panel provides additional options, including toggling to accept or reject the selected precursor. The MS2 XIC sum chromatogram for a given precursor shows the sum of all fragment XICs that qualified for quantification based on user settings. Predicted and measured relative fragment ion intensities and isotope patterns can be correlated with ease in the MS2 intensity correlation and MS2 isotope envelope correlation plots. For DIA passive data or other instrument methods that utilize ion mobility, the MS1 and MS2 ion mobilograms can be viewed or manually refined. For workloads focused on PTM analysis, the PTM localization plot shows all possible modified versions of a peptide assay, depicting the corresponding scores for each of the fragment ions, either confirming the given site probabilities or refuting them. The peptide data match PDM plot shows the MS features for the selected precursor and how well they match the expected values. Cross-run visualizations are also available, making it easy to browse through thousands of XICs in a glance. The MS1 and MS2 XIC alignment plots display the extracted ion chromatograms of a peptide across all runs sorted in a grid, with the experiment conditions in rows and replicates in columns. Right-clicking on the panel provides further options. Additionally, the name above the XIC plot is a clickable link, which redirects you to that precursor in a specific run. The XIC graph is a combined visualization of the aligned MS2 and MS1 XICs, allowing easy monitoring of cross-run reproducibility. An overlay plot of all the sum XIC chromatograms for a selected precursor is available as well. The MS2 intensity alignment plot gives detailed information about signal stability for the selected peptide across all runs. Lastly, the cross-run RT accuracy plot allows the user to quickly validate the peak picking across all LCMS runs. Now, let's check out the information available in the grid view. This view provides a protein group-centric overview of the quantification results and enables visualization of differential protein expression. Differential abundances in log to protein group quantities across samples are displayed by color, with blue for lower and red for higher abundances. Using column-specific icons, that list can be filtered by experiment-wide candidate or identification status, identification rate across runs, and experiment level CV. The list can be grouped by a given function by dragging that column and dropping it on the designated area above the grid. On the right side, you can display the protein coverage, quantity profile, and condition box plot for a selected protein group. Right-clicking on the condition box plot allows the user to change the base quantity to peptide or protein group instead of precursor. The data summarized in the grid view can be easily exported from the report perspective using the dedicated analysis grid view report schema. Once you have finished reviewing your analysis, you are ready to move on to the process results of your analysis in the post-analysis perspective.